I've been chatting more and more with the community members here at Team Koa as we keep growing and growing, and I've noticed this little trend. There seems to be a lot of confusion about what's a dragonfly and what's a damselfly. So let's cover that today. Odonata is the order of insects comprising of dragonflies and damselflies. We collectively refer to them as odonates. Let's look at a few distinguishing features between anisopterans, or dragonflies, and zygopterans, or damselflies. Dragonflies generally have thicker bodies and are larger than damselflies. Notice the thin appearance of the damselfly's thorax and abdomen. Some dragonflies aren't that long, like this eastern amberwing, which doesn't grow much past an inch in total length, or 25 millimeters. This damselfly is a type of dancer and grows to be just over an inch and a half, around 43 millimeters, even though the damselfly can grow longer than the dragonfly in this situation, we can still see the shape is much thicker on the dragonfly. Damselfly eyes are never touching. Dragonflies usually have eyes that are touching. There are some exceptions, like in the dragonfly families of club tails and petal tails. Here we can clearly see that this dragon hunter, a member of the club tails, has a gap between its eyes. Dragonflies outstretch their wings when perched, while damselflies will fold them up. Only species within the spread winged damselflies will not fold up their wings. Dragonflies will often have broad bases to their wings, while damselflies have thin bases. Dragonflies usually have a fast, strong flight, while damselflies often flutter about. Remember that dragonflies will often zoom and glide while damselflies flutter and bounce most of the time. And sometimes you will see dragonflies and damselflies doing this weird position and they're pointing their abdomen up in the air. We call this the obelisk position. They do this on particularly hot days to not overheat. By raising their abdomen pointed at the sun they are reducing the surface area exposed to the sun's rays. Sometimes this position is taken as a display to other members of the same species. This male blue dasher is a species that will take this position to intimidate and warn other males. But today it's almost 100 degrees out, so I'm pretty sure this little dude is doing it because he's really hot. Earlier this week the Kilted Coaches uh, gave us a shout out for trying out their ultimate Scottish workout and it was really cool to see uh, how their community responded and showed up and so those are a really cool group of guys with a great community and We thank them for showing up. I've linked their channel again below on this video check it out sometime And so now I think you should know some distinguishing features between damselflies and dragonflies Yeah, spread some knowledge be nature heroic